helper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. If we uh, uh, could ask um, Reverend uh, Minister Weathers to come bring us our prayer of invocation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. As we go to the throne of grace, amen, let us think and meditate on God. Amen. Amen. Forgetting all those things that have transpired through the week, and right now we focus on the Savior. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord God, first of all, just to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for this day that you have made, God. Lord, we shall rejoice and be glad in it, Father. Father, we ask right now, Lord, that you would come in, Lord, and bless us. Lord, we ask that the Holy Spirit will come in this place now, Father, and meet each and every one of us at the point of our need, Lord God. Father, because you know what we stand in the need of, Lord God. So, Father, I ask that you would come in right now. You would increase as we decrease, Lord. You will bless all who are here and all who are on their way, Father. Give them safe and traveling mercies and grace, Father. And Lord, we just want to thank you again for how you have kept us from last Sunday to this Sunday. From the danger seen and unseen, Lord God. And for that, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your healing power, Lord God. We thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord God. But we know, God, that it's because of your grace and mercy that we even here this morning. So, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. Father, we ask that you would bless all those who are listening, Lord God, by way of social media this morning, Father. Lord God, we ask that you would meet them at the point of their knees, Father. God, we ask that you would heal. Lord, we want you to touch, heal, and deliver in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray now for the one who will bring the message on today, Lord God. Oh God, we ask that you would touch him right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh God, we ask that the, the message would come with power, boldness, and demonstration in Jesus' name. Oh God, we love you and I'm here this morning. And all of God's people say, Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Uh, and now uh, let's have a, a musical selection, get our worship service started. Uh, if we could ask um, Minister Arlene Robinson to come forward with a musical selection. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
God is worthy to be praised. Yes, <clears throat> this time, saints, uh, in the old days, we used to uh, take this time and have a testimony or a prayer request or anything that was on your heart that you want to lay on the altar. God knows what you stand in need of, and he alone can fix it. That's right. And so uh, if there's any uh, testimony we might have in the audience or a um, prayer request, um, by all means, um, please stand and, and um, we'll lay it on the altar. Amen. If there is one. My Give sister. to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. to my pastor, Bishop Jerry Jones Amen. Jr. Jr. And all the saints gathered here, I thank and praise God for his goodness, his mercy, and his grace. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I come in a little heavy hearted this morning, but you know, God is still good, and I recognize that. But the things that, that happen in daily life sometimes can make you a little heavy. And um, God. some things that's going on with my grandson. So I, I've asked the church to pray for him, and I'm asking to continue to pray for him, because um, I, I did see him on Friday, and um, it, 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 was, it was a stressful situation. But, um, but I know that God is good, and I trust God because I'm deeply in prayer about his situation and him, and Whatever God does is all right with me because I know that God knows what's best. Yes, and he knows what it's going to take mm -hmm. to get him where he needs to be. So I trust God. Amen. And as you're going through the process, it's, a little, it's not always comfortable. But you got to still recognize that God still has things in control. He's sitting high. He's looking low. Amen. And he knows what is best and what it takes. So I trust God no matter what. Amen. No matter what's going on, no matter what happens, no matter what he takes him through, I know that God knows what's best, and therefore I leave it all in God's hands. Amen. Praise God, everybody. Amen. Praise God. It's good to be here this morning. Yes, it is. Glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yes. yes. And as you all know, last week was a good word. Yes, it Pastor was. Bell. And you know the prophetic word that came through from the word by people in the audience that had eye appointments and everything. So I was one of those people that had an eye appointment uh, because the doctor wanted to do surgery on my eye. You know, so I could do a transplant. Okay. And of course, I didn't want the idea of anything cutting on my eye, you know. I have problems with that. Yeah. I didn't, because I'm thinking cutting on my eye. You know, yeah. you don't think about people have price on your eye. That's right. But uh, anyway, so I went on. I, I waited, went on to the appointment. But he spoke. Uh, the prophetic word was that God said, "I'm healing mm -hmm. you." I think it was three people with eye problems or whatever. And uh, so when I went to the doctor, I prayed. I, I almost called the doctor to cancel the appointment. <laughs> Because I had already been praying about the situation, but I went on, and when I got there, I had you know that God had already worked everything out. Yeah. They had this cute little doctor came in, and they yeah. operated you my saw that. that gave me the exam <laughs> on my eye. <laughs> couldn't mention, couldn't mention. <laughs> and uh, yeah. the doctor answered every question <laughs> that I had had and had been praying about. Mm -hmm. I mean, he sat there by me in the chair and explained everything and uh because i said i didn't, i hated to tell him but i was telling him i'm not gonna have surgery right. Right. okay <laughs> but i i didn't have to tell him when they did my eye exam mm -hmm. i had the best eye exam that i had had since i had been going down there oh, wow. because oh, i read praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. i read even three of the letters that's on that last little teeny tiny letter. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm telling you the truth. I was back. I was in the seat. I was like, my daughter in love with them. And I was like, this is <laughs> <laughs> I was doing all of that. I wanted to grab that little doctor and hug him so bad, but I thought, it might get me for a soft thing to find. Yeah. And, and God is not only 
Uh, Justin Watts is going to be sitting here playing about my corny and all of that. He was just so sweet, y'all. <laughs> and I'm sitting there saying, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Trying not to go to shouting and stuff, you know, because they think we're crazy. Well, that's all right. <laughs> and, and so I, uh, he told me that uh, come back in six months, they're going to try it again. They did one more test to, to measure to see how sick was the, you know, mm -hmm. the corny and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, thank you, Lord God. That's yeah, right. Thank you, Lord God. That's so right. I just want to give God the praise, Amen. the glory, and the honor. I'm telling you, but when I got out of there, when I got down in that basement, after I got back home, got down in that basement, <laughs> I had to fall down. Just to give God the praise. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I pray for a lot of people, and God heal them. Yeah. You know, every now and then, as a minister, you need healing yourself. Yeah. You need yeah. to see, people think that we don't have problems. Don't go through this situation. Uh -huh. You know, because they see smiling and you trying to help somebody else. But I just want everybody in here to know that God is a healer. Yes, yes. Yes. That God here yes. answers your prayer. Yes. And that while you are yet praying, God is already working on your behalf. Yes. God has already went down and did what he had to do and has operated on my eyes already while I was laying in the bed talking to him. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Because I can see. Because I can, can you see? Do you wake up in the morning? Blah, blah, blah. about my little routine, you know. And uh, my little routine, you know, I said, no. Mm -mm. So far, no, 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 no. So all the answers that he asked, and that he asked me, it was, no, I don't have that. I don't do that. I don't do that. You know, because I didn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. But God had worked a miracle. Mm -hmm. And I just want to praise his name today. Amen. Yeah, Amen. everybody in here, you got to fight the fight of faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doubt tried to come in. The devil tried to come in because you know they said that you know the doctor told you that 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 what that I was saying it would and told you wasn't no cure for it and I'm saying but the pop what popped up in my spirit was for the, in the first place uh, is anything too hard for God mm. yeah that was one of them mm. yeah mm. and I said uh huh and the next thing that popped up when the, when the doubt came that's why I say read your Bible because when you need it, the Holy Spirit will bring the scriptures back to you. It came to me, whose report will you believe? Are you going to believe what the doctor said? Or are you going to believe what I said? I said, I'm going to believe Isaiah 53 and verse 5 and 6.
hours, oh, yes. and oh, yes. we just have to trust God. Right. That's right. Trust God. He knows what's best for us. He knows what we stand in need of, and he knows what's best for us for us. Mm -hmm. We just simply have to trust God. Yes, I would like to continue our service with a responsive reading. Uh, you all have your hymnals. Of reading. If you have your hymnals, yes. turn to number 572, and we're going to be led in this responsive reading by Minister Weathers. Amen. Praise God. Amen. In your hymnals, number 572. Second Peter 1, 2, 3, 11, 3, 17 through 18. Number 572. I'll read the light print and you'll read the dark print. Mm -hmm. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According, According as his, his divine, divine power hath given unto, unto us all things that pertain unto life and Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And beside this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was heard from his old sin. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also so being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness altogether. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and ever. Amen. 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 May God have a blessing to the reading, hearing, doing of the word. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. You may go to your seat.
Um, at this time, we'd like to have our announcements, or um, I'm sorry, let's have the welcome first. Let's have the welcome by our trustee, longtime trustee, Patricia. Carol, is it Carolyn Patricia? Yes. Carolyn Patricia Strickland. <laughs> Come up and give us our welcome. Okay. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to make this short because we get ready here, Bishop. But we've already, from what I have heard and seen, we've already had a blessing. Amen. Amen. So I want to welcome all you who are here. The ones that may on their way, and I hope they help get here because if not, they're gonna have to really catch up. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the condiment. I mean, catch up to what we are doing here, Amen. serving for Christ Baptist Church. Amen. So good morning. Be safe when you leave here. Have a blessed day. If all goes well, hope to see you next Sunday. Amen. Thank you. Now, uh, we'll have our announcements. Um, Lady Pat, are there any announcements? Brother Jarrell, any announcements? Any announcements? Uh, no announcements this week. Uh, the um, next thing, uh, let's uh, collect our tithes and offering. We ask that each and every penny in this offering basket be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
from our bishop, Jerry Willa Jones Jr., D Men, founding pastor, and um, pre prelate, the international prelate of the gospel truth global ministries. Thank you all so much. Um, if we could have a song of preparation from our songbird. You feel like singing today? <laughs> Have our song of preparation. Um, the next voice you hear will be that of our bishop with a word of power and truth coming from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you. 
Church. Uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. All of you who are gathered here with us in the sanctuary today, we give honor and praise to our, our worship leader, our Minister Deirdre Trash, and to our pulpit associates, uh, to all the officers of this great church service, to Christ Baptist Church, we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. And we give God all the honor. Yes. All the praise and all, all the glory for the great, the marvelous, and the magnificent things that he has done for us. Our heart today goes out to the people who are in Pakistan who had over 15 of their churches burned down. Uh, Christian churches, we've been receiving reports that close to maybe 21 churches, Christian churches have been burnt to the ground and it has impacted of the homes of many people living in in Pakistan. So we, we thank God for those that have survived this onslaught of desecration Amen. of God's holy temple. And we've asked uh, the leaders in our Gospel Truth Global International Incorporated, uh, the prelay, the regional prelay, and the vice prelay mm -hmm. to issue to issue a doc, a document, if you will, a proclamation. Uh, of the Gospel Truth Global International condemning, condemning the acts of terrorism and mm -hmm. assault on our churches mm -hmm. anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Now we don't we don't have an issue with organizations or religions mm -hmm. practicing their religious beliefs. Amen. Amen. Uh, but we reserve the right to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who is the author and finisher of our faith. Yes, sir. We take our worship of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ extremely serious. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. And we consider assault on any Christian church anywhere <clears throat> in the world desecration and an abomination. Mm -hmm. Indeed, uh, God will deal with the unjust. Yes, he will who want to attack Christianity simply because we refuse to believe as others would have us to believe that we're infidels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not infidels, Amen. but we are God's people. That's right. And so we stand fast with the citizens and the Christians uh, that are in Pakistan and Karachi and other parts <coughs> of, of Pakistan. Yeah. And we will send and we wait for uh, 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 some documents from Pakistan on helping us to devise an international strategic address of this grave concern mm -hmm. as Christianity is being attacked worldwide. We know that it's demonic. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And so we do reserve that right. So we give honor and praise to the people of, uh, of Pakistan. Well, while we were in our meeting yesterday, our global meeting, mm -hmm. we saw images, live images of the massive protest of Christians yeah. in Pakistan during our meeting. Yeah. We give honor to our Vice Prelay, Bishop Martin King, who is something to address this issue. Mm -hmm. To our brothers and sisters that are in Trinidad, we thank God for each one of them mm -hmm. who, who are standing on the wall. Uh, Bishop Reverend Mahabi, and in Liberia, in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Zambia, in Nigeria, in Kenya, in Ghana, in India, in Togo, in England, in Ireland, in the USA, and throughout the world, in uh, Karachi, as we have just mentioned, and indeed in Guyana, South America. All of our associates in the Gospel Truth Global, we stand together, united yes. against this assault uh, in Pakistan. So yes, we give God all yes, the praise, and we uh, we ask for uh, your prayers mm -hmm. for the people who have lost everything yes. uh, through terrorism. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse eleven through thirteen, Paul teaches us something very important. He says that in verse number twelve, he says, "I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound." Everywhere and in all things, am 
instructed both to be full and to be hungry, mm -hmm. both to abound and to suffer need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to highlight and emphasize to us a very important theological strategic point. And that point is, I can do all things yes, through all Christ yes, who strengthens me. Yes, yes, I'll say it again. I can do all things yes, through sir. Christ who strengthens me. Yes, Amen. Amen. And that is not the foundation scripture for our, our service today. That would be found in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, this is a favorite sermon of our church. And this is why we are bringing it back uh, to Day. Number one reason that we're bringing it back because in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8 is the, is the central scripture in the book. It is the main scripture in the book. But this book was written at around A.D. 63. The recipients of the book are Theophilus. From a theological context, you may wonder who is Theophilus. Theophilus is unknown to us. Some say that Theophilus are, 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 are the Christian Romans. Uh, others say that uh, the uh, Theophilus uh, is an attorney. It's impossible. Or new converts, those having the knowledge of the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they say. However, uh, what we believe is that Theophilus uh, does not refer to a specific individual as other books in the Bible were written to. We believe that Theophilus is the lover of God. Mm -hmm. okay. That includes you and me. The theme and, and purpose of this book of Acts is it provides us with great history and indeed uh, theology. The book is written again by the, uh, Luke. And the key verse, as I said, is Acts 1 8. And it, it, it is very interesting when we stop and, and we reflect upon the book of Acts 1 8 because what, what does it, it, it really uh, say to us in totality to summarize the whole, the whole book of Acts? One verse. How can that be? Well, the reason that the book of Acts can summarize in this one verse the whole book is because it gives an account of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in his resurrected state. Yeah. In other words, this is Jesus Christ speaking now after he's already completed his missionary journey. He's already uh, performed uh, the miracles that, 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 that we hear about and the things that we read about in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, uh, he has already cleansed the leper. Yes, sir. Yes. He has already uh, stilled the storm. He has already walked on the water. He has already fed the 4,000 and he has fed the 5,000. Mm -hmm. He has healed the blind men that we heard preach here recently when Jesus Christ was walking through and the blind man heard him and they were saying he was saying what is the noise what is going on and Jesus bid that the blind man would come to him and the blind man came to Jesus and he said to the blind man what would you have me to do and the blind man said that I might receive my sight yes, sir. he's done that he had a great catch of fish. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Um, he healed the infirm boy. Indeed, he cleansed ten lepers. Only one came back to give thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, he turned the water into wine. So when we look at this scripture in the book of Acts, chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 8, what, what we are seeing is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in his glorified state. And he simply is given some final instructions before he ascends into heaven where he will give the blood for your sins and my sins. Somebody ought to say amen, amen. Right, right there. Amen. 
That's enough right there to get excited about, jump up, get out of your seat, adjust your hair, and run around the church and say, thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done. And not only that, when the scripture is saying to us here, is what Jesus Christ said from the New King James Version, but you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me mm -hmm. in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and in all Judea mm -hmm. and Samaria mm -hmm. and to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is the theme, the key verse, to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. My brothers and sisters, uh, for some time you've heard me mention these things. Let's have a word of prayer. Amen. Yeah. Lord Jesus, as your word goes forth to the world, we beg, plead, and pray, not for form or fashion or to be a showboat, but that the people of God will receive the word of God with power. Yeah. In your precious name we pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in your sight, my Lord, who is my strength and my redeemer. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And so as Jesus Christ has already given the instructions, hallelujah, to the apostles and the, the disciples as, as we have just read it to you. It is also accented in this scripture, hallelujah, uh, Lord Jesus, by the book of Matthew, okay. chapter 28. And there we find again the, the words of, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who was, who was providing final instructions uh, before leaving earth, when he also, uh, after he is in the risen state, says to the apostles, and Jesus came, in verse 18, and Jesus came and spake to them, saying, all authority, of the translation say power, has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. These two instructions that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ over 2,000 years ago, minus 10 years, in some way, form, or fashion, has been ignored by many in the world who find it robbery to leave their home or leave their place of abode to go forth and to fulfill the imperative the command, if you will, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given to each one of us that are Christians and that believe that Jesus Christ Amen. is the Son of God, Amen. that he came, he died, and he shed his blood on the cross, that you and I yes. Amen. might have the right to eternal life. Yes. Amen. 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 What I would have you to say today is... I got power. All right. Yeah, All right. power. Right. All right. Can you repeat that for me? Yes. I got power. I got power. Say it one more time. I got power. I got power. I got power. That's what I want you to leave here with today. Amen. Amen. Is, that, is that you yeah. have power. Yes. Yes. Amen. You might ask yourself the question, why do you have power? Because the Lord says so. That's right. The Lord has said that all power has been given to us. Therefore, go into the world, baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He gave us the power over darkness. Last week, we heard a, a wonderful message from Bishop Olibello from Ireland, Beer, Nigeria who came and stood in the pulpit 
and rocked our souls in a way that we now understand when we, are, when we know to let there be light, that that light radiates all, all around as Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem and the light shone all around Bethlehem and he brought light into the world that we might have this right and that we might enjoy this right to eternal life. Amen. What he taught us was that when the light shows up, it drives out darkness, it drives out sin, it, it drives out chaos, it, it drives out confusion. And it brings hope and peace and prosperity. In that sermon, he also mentioned about the first verses in the Bible, which indeed record to us. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was void and without form. And he said that the Spirit hovered over the surface of the deep. Yes. Yes. The Spirit. Yes. Here in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8, God is telling us to go forth after he has told us in the book of Matthew that all power has been given. He's telling us now in the book of Acts, but don't do anything until you receive power from on high. Until you receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 Many times we get the Holy Ghost confused because no one will stop and say, what is the Holy Ghost? Who is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is a part of the God family, the triune God of God the Father, the Triqueta, of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's not an it. It's not a she. It is God himself in the presence of God the Holy Spirit. That's why in the book of Genesis, when God said, let us make man in our own image, he was talking about the image of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. That's why Jesus says in the book of Acts 1 8, don't do anything until you receive power from on high. Yes. What does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit is the origin of supernatural abilities. Amen, somebody. Amen. He is the giver of artistic skills according to the book of Exodus chapter 31 verse 2. He is the source of power and strength, according to Judges 3, 9. Hallelujah. He is the inspiration for prophecy, according to 1 Samuel 19, 20. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. In salvation to deliver us. That's why we say in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 30, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. We are to praise and honor and give thanks to God for the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Not only that, my brothers and sisters, in the New Testament, type of hallelujah, yeah. the Holy Spirit declares the truth about Christ, according yeah. to John 16, uh, 13. Amen. amen. The Holy Spirit never testifies that I am, that I am, and that I am, that I am, and that I am he. The Holy Spirit never talks about himself. The Holy Spirit only talks about Jesus and God, but never of himself. The Holy Spirit is humble. The Holy Spirit is meek. The Holy Spirit pours out God love in your heart. The Holy Spirit makes intercession. The Holy Spirit imparts gifts. Uh, for ministry, the Holy Spirit is able the true living God to be known to you. Yes, and the Holy Spirit strengthens your inner being when you're out and you're down. Yes. Amen. You can rely upon the power yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 Amen. Jesus Christ in the book of John 19.10 when Pontius Pilate was questioning Jesus and he was asking Jesus about truth. And they got into the dialogue about what is truth. And Jesus said, those who hear my voice know the truth. And he went on to ask some other questions and Jesus refused to answer. Mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. 
Pontius Pilate was the curator and the leader in uh, Israel at that time. Oh my God. Said to Jesus, don't you know that I have the power to release you or crucify you? Yeah. Well, Jesus Christ being omniscient and having complete total knowledge, all power, knew that Pontius Pilate had no power over him. And he articulated it in a way that made Pontius Pilate shiver when Jesus said, Thou would have no power at all against me unless it had been given to you from above. Yes. And he that turned me over to you had committed the greater sin. My Lord. Yes. Yes. I want you to say today again, mm. I got power. I got power. I got power. Yeah. Yeah. That's why God says to us, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Mm -hmm. And you shall be witnesses. Why would you and me not witness to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. My Lord. My Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Knowing that God <coughs> has already given us Amen. the power. Yeah. First yeah. Corinthians, the first point is that I want you to remember <laughs> that the baptism of the Holy Spirit brings power. Yeah. First Corinthians declared that the Holy Spirit come upon every believer at the time of conversion. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Not only that, but the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, convinces us of the Savior head of Christ and convicts us of sin in our life and converts the believing soul and dwells the believer. And many examples of the power of the Holy Spirit appears mm -hmm. yes. throughout the scripture. Yes. Yes. I'm often troubled and confused as to why we don't accept the power that God has given to us. Why is it that we push the power of God away, but nevertheless we embrace the influence of the world? Lord Jesus. I'll say it again. We, we, we embrace the influence of the world, but we push the power of God away. Think about it in your spare time. All right. yeah. John baptized Jesus in the Jordan. The Holy Spirit descended as a dove according to the book of Mark chapter 1 verses 9 through 11. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The power that you receive may drive you into the wilderness as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ upon being baptized was driven into the wilderness for how many days? 40 days. Yes, How many nights? Oh, and he was tempted the whole time that he was in the wilderness. Yes, Secondly, witness in the Holy Ghost power unto Jesus. Yes, yes. Go into all the world and worship. Yes. And I want you to say it again. I got power. I got power. You have power to move forth yes. in doing things that, that God would have you to do as a witness for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The whole reason why we are created on this earth is to worship God and to praise God and to magnify God. It's not to go out into the world and lust after flesh and lie to cheat and to steal. Our purpose is to praise God and go out and save mankind for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. power of the Holy Spirit yes. gives us courage. Yes. My Lord. It gives us boldness. Mm -hmm. yes. The conviction to go and speak to anyone about any subject yes, sir. concerning our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When we stand to declare the word of God, I've been told by many pastors that when we stand up to preach that the Holy Spirit will be there with us yes, to help us 
assist us and to prevent wickedness from engaging us while we are declaring the holy word of our God so that mankind can be saved from their sin so that all of us will have this great opportunity to enter into the kingdom of God with gladness and joy in our heart. What is it uh, that we can witness to about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? What, what, what do we have to say about God and all that he has done? Uh -huh. Yes, we, we stand and, and we give the great testimony. We stand and, and we witness for our Lord and Savior uh, Jesus Christ for, for all that he has done inside of, of our lives. And we give God all of the power, all of the honor. Yes, Indeed, yes. we give God all of the glory. Yes. And we can say like Moses said, Hallelujah, uh, who shall I say sent me? Yeah. 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 Am I coming to you to witness to you on my own accord? Amen, somebody. I, I feel my help coming on now. Hallelujah, uh, hallelujah Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord Jesus, who shall we say sent us? We can say that, uh, hallelujah, that, uh, that the, the Adam, the last Adam sent me, the Alpha and the Omega sent me, the Bread of Life sent me, the, the Chief Cornerstone sent me, the Chief Shepherd sent me, the First Born of the Dead uh, sent me, the Good Shepherd sent me, the High Priest, the Holy One of God, Emmanuel of God with the, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords has sent me. See, I got, power. Mm. I got power. Not only that, my brother and sister, you also know that all this is true, but some of us lose the witness and the power that God has given to us. And we ask the question, and we make the statement, and talk back church, tell us about it. <laughs> We, 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 we lose our power mm -hmm. How we lose? because mm -hmm. we sin to a most righteous and most holy God who died and shed his blood that we could have the right to eternal life. Amen. Yeah. I've said it four or five times here, right here today. We lose our witness and our testimony. Hallelujah, because of what Romans chapter 1 verse 29 tells us. Uh -huh. uh, we lose it because of unrighteousness, uh, because of iniquity, because of unjust behavior, uh -huh. because of illicit sins, and hallelujah, because of wickedness and covetousness and maliciousness and being full of envy and murder. And, uh, and debt and deceit and malignity and whispers and backbiters and haters of God, despiteful uses, boasts of proud, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, disobedient to God. See, my brother and sister, there is a way out for us. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that much of it relies upon our decision process. And people ask from time to time, did God create evil? Yes. Yes. All things come from God. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Even Job knew that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And he said, can't sure we not accept good and not evil? Yeah. Yeah. And his wife told him to just go ahead and curse God, curse God to his face and die. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got all these sins in your presence. And Job referred to his wife and said, who was unnamed, and said, Thou speak as a foolish woman. Yeah. Speaking as a foolish woman. That's what we encounter in life is foolishness. It's people speaking out of turn, not holding the oracles of God in promise, not holding God's word with any kind of preciousness, not holding God's word with any type of reverence, but just 
passing God's word along as though God and his word mean nothing. Somewhere in here I find myself. I find myself in a state of pitifulness. Somewhere in here I find myself in a state of hopelessness. Somewhere in here I find myself sinning even as the book of Romans declared to me. Even though I know that the thing which I hate, that is what I do. Somewhere in here I find that I need help. And somewhere in here you too may find yourself in a state of desperation, in a state of sorrow, in a state of melancholy, in a state of gloom, in a state of hopelessness. But God has said that I will not withhold any good thing from you because God has all the power. that Jesus is talking to in Acts 1-8 are prepared to go into the world to witness mm -hmm. because they respected. They knew that Jesus Christ died for them. Yes. They saw his blood. They heard the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ coming down from the cross. Yes. Such words as hallelujah Father forgive them for they know not what they do. Such words as I thirst. Such words as I yield my spirit. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Those words and many more that came from the cross identify God's humanity and his spirituality with God and with man as he died on that cross shedding his blood for you and I. And why won't we stand up for the one that died for us. So Jesus, these men that he's talking to were prepared to go into the world to witness because they respected, they knew that Jesus died for them. They saw his blood. Amen, Lord Jesus. And we too can ask ourselves the question, how can our witness for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, be effective in our behavior, in our conduct, in our watching ourselves, in the way that we conduct ourselves and the way that we comport ourselves and the way that we serve as ambassadors for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How can we change our behavior? That will require us to do what we're doing right now, to witness, and thirdly, and expand our witness for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What would be the purpose in doing this witness for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? The book of Hebrews 2 describes it very quickly when it says to us that as we witness for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we look for the oncoming King of Kings and glory, Lord of Lords, that we look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of God the Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. You up here hollering at me and so forth and so on. Well, sometimes, my brother says, someone needs to scream. Right. Someone needs to holler. Yes, someone needs to get it out. In a way that magnifies our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul's witness caused him to go to the uttermost parts of the world. Where he was stoned, shipwrecked, cast down, beaten, robbed. And endured so many things because he had power that was given to him by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that same power exists with you today. We need to hear the imperative of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. We need to follow the ordinance and the statute of God. Yes. Then when he tells us, do not do anything until you have received power from on high. Yes. We need to have faith and we need to believe yes. that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords. Yes. 
that Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Yes, and that when he says to us to go in power from this day forth, yes. you have to say, what? I got the power. What? I got the power. Yes, Amen. Eternal life as the ministers come forward.